Okay, in this video, we're going to go over copy and paste in multiple documents. It's a couple new features inside Plasticity 1.3. And it's really cool to be able to make a kit bash kits for yourself or other people. Uh, it'll come in super handy. Uh, so let's go ahead. And what you want to do, I've already got one set up for you. You can now have multiple windows open of plasticity and it's an entirely different instance of plasticity so you can do two different projects at the same time which is pretty cool and all you have to do is click on new window but i've already got one opened up here so let me minimize him a little bit and as you can see i've got this one over here and i've already saved it as a plasticity kit and this will be available on gumroad or qbrush free to use so you're welcome and but basically i basically just went into my original document here and tore things apart and brought it over here and vice versa you could do it either way so let's go ahead and show you how it works so i'm gonna take one of these pieces here in my kit and we're gonna put it on this inside wing here so let's go ahead and click on this document here and you can see i'm selected do control shift c to copy and then you have to select a point just like on uh, uh the duplicate or can't remember the name of it but it it's uh i believe control d inside plasticity where you can copy something and paste it somewhere else and then click on your original on the document you want to send it to and now do let me go ahead and maximize him. And we're going to put him on the wing over here. And we're going to do Control Shift V. And as you can see, it has brought it over. And I just need to find a center point here that makes sense. Bring him out. Oop. Nope, I'm rotating. Do that again. I almost always grab. That rotate ring. I don't know why. All right, so he's backwards there. Let's just flip him. Bring him out a little bit further. There we go. He's in place. I can escape to get out of it. And now I can bring him back here. And just do a regular duplicate. Shift D. Right there. And then select both of them. And then do Alt X, gonna mirror it, boom, there we go. I got my detail on the wing that I wanted. Though truly that's not what I want. It's actually gonna be something different, but you know, for the sake of uh, this video, that's what it is. So let's do the reverse. I don't have the engine over in that kit. So let's go ahead or whatever this is. I'm going to select the little solar panel there, and we'll do, let me go into a different render here so I can see everything. Go. And we'll do Control shift c to copy. And we'll do the center. Switch to this guy here. And then we'll do Control shift v Bring him over. I'm going to just lock him right on the origin. Click them in place, right click to confirm it, escape, get out of it, and now I've copied them over, and I've got everybody set up on the top view on this one here. I don't know, just found it to be a whole lot easier, and then you just go in here and organize things and set it up to your liking. You know, like I said, great way to put together kits for yourself, you know, on projects that you already did, but you can snag all these little pieces off use them somewhere else that's that's a great thing about kit bashing and you can also sell them later so but that's basically it you know a couple new features there uh you got your copy paste into multiple documents so you guys have a good one